Hey, what's going on guys? Kurosama here. Today is going to be a special video. It's a video that has never been done in the history of YouTube in its entirety. And this is something that I like to call the backlog critique. This is in no way, shape or form a rip off of Zach's Gunplug critique. Uh, it's completely different in every single way. This time, what we're going to do, we're going to critique backlogs. All right. Now, the first you know set of backlogs that's going to be submitted to me is from the members. So if you're a part of the supporter, small crow, or big crow squad, then you are able to send me your backlog and I can go ahead and critique them. And I know a lot of people's already thinking, Crow, what makes you qualified to critique backlogs? Well, good sir, I do tell you this. I am the king of backlogs. You got limited editions, you got special editions, you have lottery kits, you have metallic kits, everything under the sun to include kits that have never even been talked about even when they first came out such as Excel World model kits. You're going to have Tiger and Bunny model kits that hardly anyone even knows of. My collection is filled with some of the rarest and most prestige kits, let alone the hallmark of my collection, that being the entirety of the high grade and master grade and SD Gundam Mage collection. Uh, not including some of the limited edition stuff. I'm, I'm missing like two of those. But uh, everything else is pretty much there. So I think I'm qualified enough to critique your backlogs. So there's no rules to this. I'm just going to look at it. I'm going to just grade it on my own individual scale. And uh, I'll give you some pointers. So let's go ahead and take a deep dive into it. And the first people that's going to be getting reviewed is going to be my members. So J Grove, you're up. All right. So looking at J Grove's collection, the first picture is basically what I sent him. I'm pretty sure this is what I sent him in the mail uh, because he is a, uh, I think he's a small crow, a big crow. Uh, but he does rate the privilege of ordering things directly from me as a proxy. So I sent him a bunch of these uh, lottery kits and. Looks like he hasn't built them yet. So really great backlog right here so far. I like what I'm seeing, uh, but get on building them, Jay Grove. I'll just let them sit there. All right, the next one. So, all right, so moving on to the second picture. I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing right now, all right? So you have the Justice Cannon, which is fantastic. Uh, you're also gonna have the Justice Gundam. It looks like it's a clear version. Um, looks really good. I mean, I, I love the high grade perfectibility over there. Looks Looks really good, man. Uh, we got another Gundam base exclusive, which is the Trans Am Clear Full Saber 00 Quant. I love it. One of my favorite looking designs from 00, and let alone he has the Trans Am Clear version. This is this is a good backlog. I like what you're doing right here, uh, Jay Grove. You know what? You gotta keep this up. You know, go ahead and let it rest in your backlog for a few more years. Let it let it ripe. That's what I'm doing to mine. My uh, Full Saber is just gonna be chilling in the backlog uh, for a little while. And his third and final picture, it looks like it's a couple more uh, things that I've sent him. So uh, the Delta Plus, which is the clear version, I think I, I'm the one who sent him that. Uh, you also got the Delta Gundam, which I sent him for 30 bucks. Uh, really, really well below the market value right now. I think the market value is going around like $50, $60 for it, if not more. But uh, I found it for 30 bucks, and I hope he did enjoy that. Um, Del he's a Delta fan, you know what? And that's that's based. You know, when it comes to the Crow Squad, the murder, we love Delta. You know, anything that flies, if you fly in the air like a bird, hey, psh, you're part of the crew. He also has the Asura Ninja. Um, I've been wanting to build this one for a good long time, and I'm glad to see that someone else is in the same position of keeping it in their backlog. So it looks really good, man. Um, I, I, you know what? I'm gonna give your backlog a uh, a seven out of ten. All right, it's not it's not there yet. It's still very low quantity. You need to up those numbers. You gotta jump those numbers up, Jay Grove. All right, you got some good quality in there. All right, it's not a bunch of like basic things you could find right next to your you know your homeless guy in between your 7-Eleven and your WalMarts. No, no, no. These are things that require proxy. Things that require the crow membership and that's what i appreciate all right so hey keep up the good work uh just go ahead and build it up a little bit more with some more pristine items and i would prefer if you got some age kits you would hey if you would put one age kit in there you probably would have got a nine out of ten but i didn't see any age kits so seven out of ten 
Now next we're moving on to Forge. And this is my right hand man. I mean, when it comes to things that I need to get done in Discord or anything else, him and Orb, I mean, they're right here. They're right here next to me. They're, they're my boys and they hooked me up. But it doesn't mean that I'm gonna hold back any punches, Forge. I'm not holding back any. Not for you, and damn sure not for Orb. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the first picture we got, I mean, look, I, I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it. We got a shitload of Macross stuff, which isn't bad. Hey, look, I'm not I'm not hating on Macross. I love Macross. All right, but my boy Forge got a problem. He has a real issue, and I think it's time for us to sit down and talk, Forge. All right, so let this be like a pseudo you know, intervention, all right? I see a bunch of, you know, you got your little uh, figures up there on top. Uh, that's the uh, Max Factory ones. Uh, pretty cool, you're gonna need to paint them, you know, because they, they they're not fully colored. Um, but then you move down, all right? Let's move, let's move to the size and down. You have a bunch of DX figures. Now, I'm assuming they're all out of the box. I think the 1S is right there. I see YF, what is that, 31, 1A. Okay, so they're all out of the box. That's not really much of a backlog, Forge. You know, what do you take me for? Huh? Huh? This is a backlog critique. This is the most prestigious internet video uh, amongst Gumpla YouTubers, all right? This is like the Catalina wine mixer, all right? You don't mess with this. And you're messing with it right now, Forge. You're showing me figures? Figures, figures aren't a backlog. How's a figure, you know, going to the backlog? Anyways, let's move on because I'm getting heated. All right. So he's also utilizing the uh, the Crow Shop, which is a proxy service for uh, that v VF1 Valkyrie, which I think is a one in twenty scale. It's one of those like monthly subscription base uh, parts. So yeah, he's he's using my damn house as a little doorstop for his figures, and I mail it back to him. Hey, he wants his one in twenty. I'm, I'm gonna make sure he gets it. All right, we got the VF25F clear version. Once again, a proxy service from the Crow Shop because the Crow Shop delivers some of the most pristine and top tier kits this side of Japan. All right, let's move on. Who does this? Who, do who does this to themselves? You don't need this many victory kits, Forge. Like, I get it. You, you want the Hexa one. You want the normal one. You're going to want the booster one. You're going to want the second L version. You know, whatever other variants of these they got. I know some of them are mass-produced victory suits. I get it. But you got a problem, all right? Go with the high grade. You're going with this master grade. And look at them. This is a lot of space, all right? You could be you could be putting age kits in those spots, Forge. I bet, I swear to God, Forge, if, if I click this next... Picture, and there's no age kit. We're stand by, stand by for some uh, for some discipline. I don't know how to navigate through all the glare, but I'm gonna go ahead and dissect it from top to bottom. First thing, we got the perfect grade Unicorn Gundam Phoenix. Um, hey, you know what? Bravo. That's that's a hallmark right there. Uh, I see. I think that's the master grade. It looks like the master grade perfectibility to the left of it, which, hey, you're just like me. Both got into backlogs, never to be built ever again. All right. Um, man, I think that's Exia Avalanche right there below it, uh, looking really good. I can't see the other two in the middle. A little bit too much glare. Moving down, I see some Star Wars stuff. Not really too interested in that. You know, that's low tier. Uh, there's all those victory kits on the side that he took a picture of earlier. Hey, we got a, we got a high new right there. Look at that, the high new Verka. That's a beautiful kit. I built that one, uh, loved it. Didn't review it at all, uh, but I will tell you guys that is a stellar, stellar model kit. Um, absolutely gorgeous. You got Sinanju Stein, looking good, man, looking good. So I mean, you got some you got some quality stuff. Let's see what else you got going on. I see Banshee, a lot of unicorn stuff going on. Uh, moving down, uh, look like Destiny, Master Grade. I don't know if I don't know which version of the Destiny that is, but it is a Destiny. Above that, looks like an RX seventy eight dash two. I don't know what version that is. Um, could be the Gundam base one because it looks a little more blue. So if that is the Gundam base version, that uh, you know, hey, you're doing God's work right now, buddy. All right, uh, I don't know what that one is. It's original plain version. I can't zoom in that far. I try my best. Uh, but I can't, I can't actually see what that is. Moving on, you got another, hey, you got another RX-70-3, the 3.0, fantastic work. 
Um, looks like you have the Strike VRM, I believe. You got Victory 2 Assault Buster Gun, and that cost you a lot of money, I bet. Uh, looking good. Hey, the left side looks looks pretty good. Uh, you got the uh, Deep Striker, which that is a very, very bricky kit. <laughs> it's just going to look good on the shelf, I guess, you know, much like some of the unicorns. Um, the GPO-1 uh, Full Vern looks good. Hey, I, I really want that cage, bro. I know you mentioned that, you know, you was going to go ahead and um, hook me up with that cage. I'm still, I'm still open to that offer. <laughs> Uh, you got Zeta Gundam. Um, honestly, I don't know why you got this in the backlog. I mean, just go ahead and sell it. Honestly, just sell it. You don't need a perfect grade Zeta. Go with the 2.0. Go with the real grade. Um, I mean, those are fine enough kits that you don't need the perfect grade, which has wacky proportions. It's it's a little bit dated, buddy. So I'll go ahead and just scrap it. Just scrap it. You have a whole nother GPO-1 perfect grade right below that one. What is wrong with you? Like, mentally, what's wrong with you? All right, moving down to the bottom. We got Unicorn Gundam Perfect Grade, uh, which is great. You have the 007 Sword. I, I'm i actually pretty jealous because I love the 007 Sword. I more so love the inspection colors. It's like my favorite version of the 00 Gundam, period. Period. So, very kudos to you. I hope you do build that because I love to see pictures of it. Uh, then you got the Wing Zero Custom. Throw that shit away right now, Forge. Go take the box. All, all, everything in there. Don't leave one piece of cardboard scrap le left behind. You bring that to your trash disposal and you just jam it right in there. Everything. You don't look back. I expect pictures. All right, now we're at the right. Uh, so you have the VF... Oh, what one is that? 31? Yeah, Siegfried. I thought Siegfried was 25. Or I'm thinking about a different one. But uh, I'm very curious to see the quality. I know 2S is built in. He said, you know, a lot of decals, a lot of missing paint. So I'm, I'm, I'm just curious to see it. You know, I, I like to see pictures of it. You got two kits right here. I'm not familiar with those. Lo looks like it's uh, an alternate bootleg backpack for the new Gundam. I'm pretty, pretty positive on that one. The one in between, not too sure what that is. But you do have the uh, H2 Magnum. So you know what? You know what? Let me give you one of those, Forge, because you just, you just missed, barely, my wrath, and that of the wrath of God, because I was going to come down hard on you. All right, so you got another P-Bandai right there. Not too sure what that is. Oh, it looks like it's, if I tilt my head like this, I think that's Banshee. No, that's not Banshee. It's, that's a weird V-Fin. Oh, that's FM-91, isn't it? I think it's F 91 Massive Grade F-91 2.0. You got some more F91s right there. You got some more older kits. Hey, look, we got one of the uh, Olympic Gundams that I sent them, a Gorai Kai. Hey, looking pretty good. You got the uh, X, um, the double X. That's pretty good Gundam. Uh, Zgok Master Grade. I really, you know what? I talk a lot of shit about Zeon kits, just uh, you know, overall design. But when it comes to the Zgok, I actually kind of. You know, I started to like this kit a little bit more. Not kit, but design. I haven't built the kits yet. Uh, you got some GMs down there. You got some, you know. Oh, look at that. You got that Master Grade Age 1 Normal. I completely forgot. Completely forgot. Old Boy Forge, you know, hit me up last year. He's like, hey, hey, Krosama, look. You know, I'm a part of your memberships, right? And I'm like, yeah, of course, Forge. How can I ever forget? He's like, I need a Master Grade Age 1 Normal. Can you, can you get this for me? I'm like, Forge, baby, listen. I'm the goddamn Krosama. I can, I can make shit happen. I will, I will march my happy ass across the world to Bandai headquarters, and I'll get you that Master Grade H1 Normal. And sure enough, I found a Master Grade H1 Normal for 28 bucks, and now it's in his collection. He also has an X Gundam, which is actually really hard to find. I haven't found one X Gundam for the past year, and that's kind of a... Uh, that's kind of puzzling, to be honest. It's it's scary, the fact that I can't even find one. But, uh, you know, you got the Massacre Age 1 Normal. I am content. I think your backlog was great. It has a lot of, like, problems in terms of too much victory. I know some people might not believe that, but in all honesty, you, you got too much victory in there, my boy. But uh, I'm a, since you got some age kits, I'm going to rate it a 9 out of 10. All right? You went... You went above and beyond. You got a couple of uh, Massacre Age kits in there. Psh. Hey, we're Gucci. 
All right, next we got is uh, Mayafu. He is uh, one of my uh, Discord peoples and the members. And let's take a look at this collection. It's not much, all right? You know, it's it's something that could be improved on. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but, I mean, just start from the top, all right? We got... Okay, first we got some Transformers in there. And he has War for Cybertron, Bumblebee. Uh, Fall of Cybertron, Bumblebee, my bad. And, uh, hey, you got some good taste, brother, already. So you got some first grade, uh, you know, Gundam and Zaku, not too bad. The dress-up parts, you know, you're a man of culture. I'm seeing a lot of girly figures in here we got the witch right there looking really good you got you got the rg rx78-2 fantastic fantastic job and just a bunch of megami devices you know we got the lance hellblaze uh it looks like i don't know what megami gears are 100 percent. that's a chinese item maybe like head parts looks like maybe bus parts as well uh and behind the uh, lance or hellblaze i don't know what the hell that is so you'll have to educate me. I think, I think that's one of the attack girls. Is that like the wolf one? I can't, I can't tell from here. But uh, overall, man, your collection is really, it's really cultured. I would say um, it looks really good. You know, you, you got, you got, you got a particular set of interest, and I think that you know what you're doing. Okay. I would say don't sit on a couple of these for too long. Don't do like I did. You know, I'm sitting on a lot of Kotobukiya girl kits, and it, it makes me upset because I need I need a little more culture in my room. But you got it right here, so hey, kudos to you, brother. Uh, but I will have to give you a, a much lower score than uh, the rest of the guys I've given. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a 5 out of 10, all right? It's it's low, but every, every point of those five points is cultured, and I want you to understand and respect that, okay? So... Don't take it to heart, but you need to up your numbers for one. Maybe add a little more diversity, all right? Hey, we're in the business of diversity. You don't just have Gundam. You don't just have Kotobuki and Megami device. You got to kind of like put a little bit of extra in there, all right? So you got a little bit of, of both, but I need to see more diversity. All right, look, I'm already, I'm already stressing out about this backlog right here because I thought Forge was bad with his victory stuff. This dude right here, he has... He has actual issues that need to be diagnosed. So looking in here, I mean, look, I got to zoom in. I got to zoom in far for this one. All right. Oh, my God. You got Pokemon stuff in here, which in inherently is not bad. But you got a Pikachu. Just that takes like two seconds to build. You got a governor from the um, Hexagear line. That's really cool. You got some old vintage kits. You got two, you know, gun cannons. I don't know why. But here we go. Here we go, guys. Why do you need so many Zagox? Oh my god. Like I, I'm not hating on it in terms of like design, because Zagok is a really cool looking suit. But you got this blue Zagok. I didn't even know there was a blue Zagok. I'm gonna be i I'm gonna be really real with y'all. I'm only familiar with like two Zagoks uh in this entire world, and that's pretty much Shars, and I think there's like an alternate color of Shars. I didn't I don't even think it's blue. But you have an old you know, Shars uh, Zagok right there. You got the Master Grade, which is fine. You know, I would like to build that one. We go down here. We got the uh, Bobatos. We have the Unicorn Gundam, which is uh, one of the. Uh, is this the one I sent them? I'm pretty sure it is. All right, but we're gonna go. We're gonna go across now. We got Assault Angels B. That's from the Attack Girls line, which I I, I really want to build this. This this is a good looking kit. Um, I've seen it. I've seen the poses. I've seen people doing crazy stuff with it. It looks fantastic. And right above it is the Heracross, which has some beautiful lightning effect parts. And uh, in Japan right now, it's going for about 100 bucks. Way too much for my blood. But on uh, Japan, Amazon Japan, it's going for about like 50 So I think I can manage getting it on Amazon. But uh, hey, you know what? I'm not, I think I'm at max capacity when it comes to uh, overall backlog. We got the real gray Zagok. Now you got the Gundam XC Clear, Gundam Expo version at that. Or is, it, or is it just Trans Am? I think it's like Metallic Trans Am. Here we got the Gog, Act Guy, and Zagok, or Zok. Yeah, Zok. Yeah. Uh, the fucking names confuse me. Uh, Momo Kapool, which is basically kind of like the, uh, it's like the Act Guy, right? I'm pretty sure it's like the Act Guy. Uh, you got more Gun Cannons, Windom. You got Lucario right there. I uh, don't know what those two above are, to be honest. I, I'm, I know he got one of them from me, but I'm not familiar. 
I don't know what that thing across is. That blue box with the the guy with the black hair. It looks like it's some from uh, that Saint Seiya, whatever that anime could be. And you got a bunch of older one and one forty four scales. Gox, the Gox, the Gox, more the Gox. You got trucks randomly, but diversity, diversity. That's what we're talking about. Uh, Griffin, that's pretty cool. You got one. Little uh, Kotobuki kit right there. Uh, another Zagok. God damn it. Uh, Farzia. You have one H kit. And it's honestly one of the rarer ones in the high grade line. I think it is probably the rarest and most expensive of the high grade age line. Which I'm going to give you kudos for. Kudos for having the Farzia. And then you got a Tristan. That's just being wildly compressed with all the weight above it. And I'm not hating on that whatsoever. All right, so takeaways from this. All right, that's this is all we got. This is his collection. You know, Z, I'm not hating on it whatsoever. All right, you got a passion, and I admire passion. On this channel, we have passions too. It's you know more or less the Gundam Age franchise as a whole, but I see what you got right here. You got you got a lot of love for something, and I want you to stay to your your guns. All right, but maybe tone it down. All right, you got one age kit. Pump up those numbers. You need to pump up those age numbers. We got events coming up, and you're you're not you're wildly unprepared. Unprepared, that's the word I was going to use. <laughs> uh, but you're you're just what, what are you doing? What are you doing? Just sitting on the gox. Uh, next time we do this, Z, I better see some age kits in there. I want to see more. All right, I'm not going to give you a full nine. You may have one of the rarest high grades of all time, but I'm going to have to bust it down one point and probably a half a point just because you have a bunch of Zagoks and it's kind of weird. Um, I'm going to give you a 7.5. All right. A 7.5 out of 10. I think that's good, but your overall numbers are still a little bit too small. You do have some limited edition in there. Not too much, but you do have a little bit. Uh, you do have the 1H kit, but overall, I mean... I'm not sitting here impressed. I'm sitting here concerned. All right. And I don't I don't want to sit here concerned. I want to sit here a very happy, happy man. All right. But hey, keep on doing the good work, Z, and we'll see you next time. All right, next we got Ambassador. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh do some screenshots of this. Um I'm not gonna go through all of it and we're gonna kinda like jump around. Um in Bandai, you have a lot of Bandai. A uh, little, very little Kotobukiya in this uh, list. I don't know why you didn't send me pictures, uh, Ambassador. So the, I'm, I'm busting a point just for no pics. You send me a list. Uh, but looking at it, I mean, I'm already seeing some good stuff. I'm going to call out some of the highlights. Um, you do have a 30-minute mission kit, which is great. Uh, I think the line is, is very good. I wish I had more time to uh, to go ahead and build more of those. But you have the G40. Or no, that's, never mind. That's not a G4. It's Gundam G4. Interesting. Okay, that's that's pretty that's pretty decent. The Drobium, wow, that's that's a big kit. So hopefully you build that up sometime soon. Um, let's see, we got Heavy Arms Custom EW, fantastic kit. That's also another uh, rarity. You got the Age Two Double Bullet Master Grade. All right, I like I like that. I like what I'm seeing. It's not the rarest Master Grade in the Age line, but it is pretty up there. It's costing well above the market value or the uh, the retail value. The market value is around like 70, even to like 90 bucks online. So that's a good find. I hope you didn't spend too much money. Uh, so you got Testament in there, and that's the Bandai one. So that's pretty good. Um, yeah, Polypod. All right, I'm seeing some good ones. I'm seeing the Master Grade High New Verka, another good one. I see some F90s in there, Master Grades, amazing. Hey, I'll, you know what? Not too bad, all right? We got Gold Frame uh, Amina Matsu. All right, what else? We got Riser, Perfect Gray Riser, Perfect Gray Mark II, Titans Color, great. Let's see, we got some RGs in here. We got Sazabi RG, Crossbone X1. You got Perfectibility RG, nice, okay. You got Banshee Norn RG, Sinanju RG. You got the RG Zeong with effect parts. Oh, so this is like a pre-order list. All right. I I'll let it slide. I'll let it slide. It's not in your active backlog, but if you already pre-ordered it, then that's fine. 
Uh, Lupus Rex, great. Uh, CSD, but still pretty good. Pretty good kit overall. Look at the Kotobuki stuff. You got some Robot War stuff in there. I'm not too familiar with them. I don't know how rare they are, but uh, they might be pretty rare. I see a lot of Super Robot War stuff all the time, so who knows. You got Megami Device. You got Chaos and uh, Pretty Witch, so that's pretty nice. And Rotoms, all right? So overall, um, decent list, all right? I'm seeing one age kit, and that's starting to become the uh, the pattern is about one to two age kits. Um, you know, once again, pump up those numbers, guy. All right, we're not in the business of collecting just cardboard and plastic. We're in the business of collecting age kits. All right, that's what a backlog should be: collecting your age kits. Moving on. So I like I like what I see overall, but I think what you need to do is add more age. And once once you have the age stuff in there, then you can start going more into limited editions a little bit more. I see I see what you got. You got some P Bandai, but I'm not seeing a uh, limited or special, all right? I'm seeing just premium Bandai, all right? But I wanna see more limited, things that is like sought after that you can't find anywhere else, all right? A couple of things from Gundam Base, that's fine, but um, you know, we gotta up these numbers somehow. Add a little more diversity, all right? You got too much Bandai in there. Go get some other stuff that's from like Wave or um, you know uh, Hasagawa, some of the sort, but good, good collection. I like what I'm seeing, keep up the good work. I'm gonna give this one I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten. All right, you got it's, it's a lot of bulk, which is good. You got an age kit. You got a few things from Bandai that is uh, obviously not uh, Gundam, but overall need to up need to up numbers and up uh, diversity. So last but not least, we're looking at Orb's backlog. Um, we're gonna just take it pretty much fast because he has like thirty something pictures in this folder, which is um, it's quite a lot to be honest. So we're looking at uh, Sazabi, pretty nice. I wish I had like a way to look at these like all together in one file, but that's fine. Uh, next we got a bunch of high grade IBO kits. All right, that's not too, that's not too horrible. Like I like IBO, it's pretty, it's pretty nice. Uh, next thing we got uh, more IBO. We got some uh, system base. That's pretty good. I really do like the system base, and I want to build mine eventually. Um, but yeah, more IBO right there. Next, you got the RG Banshee Norn, as well as the Unicorn Gundam. So both real, really good kits. And next, we got we got some uh, P Bandai stuff. We got the Justice Cannon, as well as the Tekken Complete Set. More IBO, another IBO right there. Uh, but at least right below that, you got the Sananju Stein, which is a really good pickup. Next, we're gonna have is the Master Grade Verka Full Armor Gundam Gundam Thunderbolt. Uh, really good kit and. One thing I want to mention is so far I'm seeing a lot of retail stuff. A lot of things that are kind of like you can get anywhere. All right, next we got, uh, looks like an Exia. Is it like the, the complete Exia, like the one through four? Uh, you got the multi-function base, which actually looks like a really good base. I like what I'm seeing there. Um, so I'm kind of interested in that base more than the actual figure, to be honest. Uh, next we're going to have Gundam and Zaku 2. All right, or I'm, I'm gonna let you know next time, please. One consolidated photo. Well, not one, but I mean, try and put them all in like one collection, so it'd be a little bit easier instead of clicking on 38 photos. So I'll, I'll say this when it comes to retail: you never know what's going to be the kit that's going to be rare. Like when it comes to Gundam Age, I didn't realize that most of them would become rare. I, I thought like, okay. Bandai would probably re-release them every once in a while, but uh, very few have ever seen a re-release. Um, so, I, I, I kind of understand. I would argue that a lot of the real grades, or pretty much all the real grades, have not been scarce at all. So, finding a lot of these like Master Grade Verkaz, Verkaz are very easy to come by as well. They're, they usually get uh, reprinted uh, often. Uh, next, we got some more UC stuff. All right, we got some uh, some... First grades over there. Uh, we got some Moon Gundam, Sinanju. Why do you have an old Sinanju? You gotta let me know why you have an old Sinanju. I'm not, I'm not kit shaming or backlog shaming. I just want to know why you got an old Sinanju. Because you have the RG, you have the Master Grade, so it's kind of weird. You got the Tall Geese too, which I think that's the Master Grade. It looks like it's the Master Grade. I could be wrong though. Uh, Dynamis all the way at the bottom. Leo Space Type, which I'm actually pretty jealous about. Leo Space Type is actually a really, really good one. Uh, triple Action Base. 
I really like that triple action base. I've seen that over at uh, Gunna Base Tokyo, and I was like, oh, I want it. Uh, Wound War, I would just get rid of that. I, I've heard nothing but horror stories of the Cute Cube. Um, they have the high grade now. I get it, this is the 1 in 100 scale, but um, probably best to just go with the Bandai 1 in 44. But, I mean, if you can make it pretty, Orb, make it pretty. Oh my god, we're barely halfway through this backlog. You got a bunch of the Gundam heads, which is actually really cool. You have, actually all of them, uh, from the lottery last year. Uh, also got a Zeta Gundam and a Delta Plus, which is completely based. And here is the Master Grade Gundam Base Limited Gundam Perfectibility. Um, really happy about that. You also got the Base Limited Cage, uh, which is really good. Uh, it's, it's pretty much the same cage as like the uh, the MGEX. I think the base is obviously different, but the cage itself is uh, carried over. So that's really cool. And next we have is three tall geese. You got one, two, and three. Um, I am pretty envious right now because uh, I really do want to get Tall Geese 3. It's my favorite version of all three of them. Uh, but unfortunately, it does cost quite a bit. So you got, you got a pretty pricey real grade in your collection, which is really awesome. Uh, two, I already have that as a master grade. So I'm kind of like leaning on not getting that one in the future. But, you know, the fact that you got all three in the real grade form is, is pretty damn awesome. And we're going back to this pile up i don't know do you have like duplicates orb I, like the the pictures are confusing the hell out of me because i don't know if you have like duplicates of full armor gundam verka or you have like a bunch of like deltas a bunch of dynamis and all that like it seems like you have a compilation of uh of kits throughout your collection uh moving forward we got uh the evangelion unit zero which is really cool. One dumb pod. I thought you built that already, but I guess you did not. Or someone else built it in the uh, the group. Um, you got the Turn X, which is fantastic of a kit. Uh, the real grade RX-78-2. The color of the box looks weird. I don't know why. Uh, next, we got the Metal Build Ava 2. I didn't even know you had that. You should buy my Ava Unit 1 2020 because it needs a home. Uh, then you're going to have the Kotobukiya Evangelion Unit 13. Uh, you're also going to have the Age 1 Normal Master Grade, which is bumping up your total score by quite a lot. Uh, you do have the Master Grade Extreme Gundam. Or how much money do you have? Jesus Christ. We're ending on a high note right now. Um, you got the, the triple set of the real grade over here. Jesus Christ. I hope that's not a duplicate of the uh, Unit 0. And then you have the bust of the uh, Sananju, which is actually really cool. Uh, looks like you have... Is that the bust of Z? I'm not too familiar with that actual packaging, but it could be the bust. All right, we're only, we're only a few more photos. All right, this is one of his uh, Crow Pro uh, shop packages. So it's an Evangelion package that he ordered. Uh, he wanted a bunch of like like the arcade things. I don't I don't know what he wanted. He just like sent me a link, and I was like, all right, I got you. And then, uh, you know, obviously he got the uh, the blades. He's got the uh, the mat up in there from Kotobukiya Shop, which I think the mat is sold out now. Uh, but I do have an extra blade I'm trying to sell, but no one uh, no one wants the extra blade. Then we're gonna have uh, which is like this arcade stand. I guess you put your phone in there, and like there's like these buttons, and you can play the arcade game on the phone. I don't I don't know. I never bothered to look at it and these are other uh two kits he has the uh farzia which i found for about 35 bucks all right 35 bucks i found the farzia which is a great price and then uh denanzine the uh found that for 12 bucks so he got those two from me as well and last but not least the pat labar the one in 35 master grade ingram special set so that concludes Orb's collection. For love of God, Orb, please consolidate your backlog. Um, you know, I'm not one to talk because I do have my backlog scattered in three different locations. Uh, but Jesus Christ, that was a lot of photos to sift through. All right, Orb. So now for your grade. Honestly, you have a pretty, pretty sizable collection. Something that does not rival mine, but it's, it's something that could one day rival my collection. If I don't uh, buy any more and I start building, actually. But um, I definitely kudos to your overall collection, Orb. It's very impressive. A lot of limited edition. A lot of uh, clear stuff. Well, actually, I tag back. A lot of P. Bandai stuff. You do have Age, Evangelion. So, honestly, I'm going to give you a 9.5. I can't give you a 10, Orb. All right? As much as I wanted to give you that 10, I had to take a step back. And I'm like, if I give him a 10, where does that put me at? You know, because obviously my backlog is a 10 out of 10, hands down. But for you, Orb, 
a 9.5. You stand above the rest. You are above the above average people. That's how that's how prestige you are. All right, so definitely kudos to you, Orb. Consolidate your damn pitchers next time. Maybe you could earn that 10 out of 10 rating. But um, that's it. So a lot of good backlogs today. You know, I, I want to see more. So probably next month, I'm going to keep it members only. See what people bring to the table uh, come the end of the year. See if they got any new kits. Um, and then probably moving on to the next year, which is going to be um, January, I might move it to just Discord. Like everyone within the Discord can submit their backlogs and I can critique them. Um, and then from there, I might even open up to the actual uh, subscriber base. Um, so stay tuned for that. Depends on how many I'm going to be getting from the Discord. And uh, if it's not too much, then yeah, I'll open it up to the rest of you guys and I'll share the link. Um, so that way you can dump up your files or I'll just send you my email and you can uh, shoot all your backlogs within my email. But that's it for me. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and I will be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.